My name is Erica. I have a cooking show. Making tasty food that's healthy and keto. Diets and exercise can suck just a tad. But my crazy keto kitchen makes it not so bad. Welcome to the show. Welcome back to another crazy episode with my crazy keto's kitchens snack episodes. My name is Erica and I'm Candace and we're on the keto diet. And for today's little treat for you today is going to be just that, focusing on snack foods. Snacks. How would we get anywhere without our snack foods? I don't know. I mean, technically some some keto experts will tell you no snacking in between meals. But we like to snack at the movies instead of having popcorn. Exactly. Um, maybe instead of having a full meal um, where you've already maxed up on your macros and all of your carb intake. And honestly, you just need some fat to throw up in there. Exactly. Not literally throw up, but to join to the conglomeration of food. <laughs> I just okay. thought I'm like, fat throw up. <laughs> okay, well, then Candace, what are we making? Today we are making one of my personal favorites. I make these things all the time, and they are also surprisingly really super low carb for what they actually are. They're cheese chips. Cheese chips? Cheese chips. There's like a ton of recipes all over the internet for these right now, but I did happen to, I think, break it down to a bit of a science. Okay. Which I'm really excited about. Well, I'm intrigued because I love cheese, and I love chips, and honestly, like, I'm looking for something that's a little more crunchy. Exactly, and that was a problem I faced with a lot of the the like the recipes online is that they left your cheese chips chewy. Whenever I think of chips, I think of something crunchy, yeah. something that you break off, something that's delicious. And you, and whenever you got like a chewy cheese chip, that's just no bueno. It's no bueno. So I did happen to redo this and make this crunchier, just like a chip. All right, well let's go ahead and see what we need. You got it. So for today, it's real simple. You just need a ton of, you can do white cheddar cheese, regular cheddar cheese. I prefer the sharp cheddar. Then also you wanna get something to season it with, so garlic and herb, I've got one option here. And then also ranch dressing, which is a personal favorite. So what I've gone ahead and done is, I did prep a little bit before this episode. I went ahead and cut up some of my cheese slices. For these, I just go to the store, get up a big old block of sharp cheddar cheese and start going to town with my butcher knife. Now, as far as size goes, you know, usually size matters. In this case, it really doesn't. You can have either a really large piece or really small pieces. Completely up to you. Just make sure whatever you do, you do allow enough space on your pan to where they're not going to melt together because then it's not really cheese chips, it's cheese pan. And that's not what you want. That sounds delicious. Cheese pan. Mm. All right. So, of course, what we'll go ahead and do here is, since I've already provided some already cut cheeses, we can save a little time. Usually I'd take a butcher knife and just chop this to whichever size I'd rather have it. For this here as well, an important part of this is, of course, putting parchment paper on your pan. Regular pan, parchment paper. This will help you pick them up after they've been cooking. Also, it helps the cheese reabsorb the oil after it's been cooking. Now what you don't want to do, and this is a very common mistake, and I've heard horror stories about this, but parchment paper is different than wax paper. Make sure this is parchment paper because if this is wax paper, you're going to end up putting all your cheese on your pan. It's going to all melt. You won't be able to get it off the pan. Wasted cheese is a very sad day. Okay. It's a sin. So we're just going to go ahead and put our cheese on a pan. We'll be right there. Alright, so we've got our cheese on the pan, and also to make sure you preset your oven for around 325 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to put your cheese in the oven after it's done preheating. And while that is cooking, we're going to have it cook for around 7 minutes. If your oven cooks as une unevenly as mine does, I do have to turn it around midway so it gets an even heat. But around 7 minutes and then from there we'll take that out of the oven and do our next step. Alright, so this is after around seven minutes of baking. They're slightly browned on the edges, which is what we want. Now the next the next part we see, you see, you see a lot of oil on the pan with the cheese, which is normal. Cheese does have lots of oil in it. What we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of our spices, whichever spices you want. 
For mine, my personal favorite is ranch seasoning, which I'm trying to make it come out here. And you just basically put a little bit on each chip. And then what I also do is also add just a touch of salt. Beyond popular belief, you need salt in your diet. Salt is essential for electrolytes and everything else, especially when you're pulling all the electrolytes out of your body whenever you're going on this diet. A lot of minerals come from bread, surprisingly, but it also has a lot of unwanted sugars and causes your body to do a lot of bad stuff. However, we can still get those minerals in salt. We love pink Himalayan salt. It is the purest form of salt that you can actually get. It's harvested from the Himalayan mountains, obviously, but it hasn't been touched by nature and pollution, which is why it's great for you. Tons of minerals, tons of vitamins. Secondly, I love that stuff. Hawaiian black salt. It, tastes, so it tastes amazing. If you ever get a chance to stop by at like a spice shop, go ahead and try their salts. A lot of their salts are delicious and nutritious. Now, is iodized salt bad for you? There's a lot of chemicals in iodized salt. However, the body does need iodine. Candice, what does iodine do? Man, it does a lot of different things. You know, one thing in particular it does is help with your metabolic rate. And then also on top of that, it helps regulate your hormones coming from your thyroid to make sure everything's running smoothly for you. So metabolic rate, what does that mean? I mean, that's everything, including heart rate, the way that you're digesting your food, Know, metabolism, all that fun stuff. They're basically just producing energy throughout your body to help yourself function. So the great thing is you can actually pick up at the store iodized sea salt. So it's there you go. It, it's all in one. It's not as tasty as some of the others. It may taste more like chemicals, but there you can get your daily fix of iodine. Moving onward. And, oh, so now that we've gone ahead and added our seasoning and I did a little bit of salt as well, pink Himalayan salt, I'm going to put these back in the oven for approximately two minutes, and that's it. All right, so here is the finished product. I've gone ahead and pulled these out of the oven. Let them cool for just a couple minutes before you decide to take a big old chomp out of them because they are extremely hot. But they are very good, and you can tell even as far as I spaced them apart, some of them still happen to stick together, which is okay. I mean, more chip for your bite. Counts as one. Counts as one. So, <laughs> in that case here, let's go ahead and try these bad boys. And of course, our favorite part in the episode, quality, quality control. control. Let's take a bite. Mmm. You hear that crunch? <laughs> Emily back there. That crunch is perfect. Mmm. <laughs> and that's the benefit of doing it twice baked, because it reabsorbs a lot of those oils and then helps basically fry it. Is basically what you're Drive cheese. Delicious. That's delicious. Well, delicious. Thanks. thanks so much for tuning in today. That is going to be it for our little mini snack episode. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe below. Just click that link, click the like button, share it, do what you got to do. Get the word out there. Thanks for stopping by, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Give me more. Okay, we gotta somewhat say that in unison. I touched your foot. Footsies. Thanks for stopping to another. I mean, you should say welcome back. I have to say, um, recent snack episode. It sounded like it was gonna be a Halloween episode, so. Yeah, let's not do that.
too, because you just went, smack it. I was like, <laughs> cheese and rice. <laughs> no right. No right. No rice. Maybe it should be like, snack is so, so it looks more like spirit fingers. Okay, not like, you should say well by the back. And of course, our favorite episode, our, excuse me. Wait, did you get this part? Yeah, I got all that. I got all that. You mean taking it out? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You positive? Yeah. Mine. They're all mine. Okay, did you eat every single one of them? I'm gonna try to fit They're not many carbs. They're mine. All mine. All mine. 